I'm about to show you the fastest a gap blitz in Madden and something you can use when they block their running back that can still give you a gap potential in your pressure. This comes to us out of the 46 defensive playbook. We're going to be taking a look at the 3 3 Cub out of the nickel formation. I dropped this defensive ebook day one of Madden 24, and we actually just updated it for you guys in the Patreon with some new blitzes, some new coverage concepts. Clear cut meta defense from day one has been 3 3 Cub for a lot of different reasons. It's not just the blitz, but the blitz is a factor. And I'm going to show you today how to take the 3 3 Cub blitz to a whole nother level. Now, again, if you want to join the Patreon and get the entire defensive system and ebook, make sure you do that. It's only 10 bucks. The link is going to be down in the description. And you get access to all the other ebooks as well as any updates we release while your membership is active. All right, guys, so what we're going to do real quick is you just want to put your fastest players at defensive end. So for the commanders here, I've got Montez Sweat and, and Chase Young. But just fast guys here is really what we're looking for. And then that's it. You don't have to set any audibles whatsoever. The one thing I would recommend with this um, is you could change your coaching adjustments, but you literally don't even have to do that, okay? You can literally just leave everything on default. The default audible down is the OOB Blitz 1. So we're going to come out in the LB Blitz 1 out of 3-3. And then all we're going to do is we're going to hit, um, we're going to audible to 3-3 three, three Cub, and we're going to audible into OLB Blitz 1. So it's going to look fairly similar. We're going to globally blitz all of our linebackers. We're going to press until this guy goes into the gap. And then from there, we're going to user this safety. Now, what I like to do with the safety on the right, you can man him up on the tight end. Now, there is a way that you can get that already set up, which we go over in the actual ebook. But what you're going to see is this is six-man, A-gap pressure, and edge. Now, the beauty of this is if they block a running back. So real quick, let's go back to the foundation of the base 3-3 blitz, which is this, that if we do this setup right here, then we're going to be able to get A-gap pressure even if we're only sending fives. So this is send five. We're going to get that A-gap pressure. As you see, we actually ended up getting nano detected, but you see the pressure is coming in, okay? Um, and, and that's really all you need. Now, uh, when we audible over here like this and we do this, the problem with this five-man blitz is it is susceptible to being picked up if your opponent blocks the running back. So I'm going to block my running back right here, and what you're going to see is this is going to pick up the blitz, and now I've got time to potentially throw an interception, right? All right, so that's kind of the foundation of the whole thing. Now, what we're going to take this to the next level is by blitzing this linebacker, okay? That is the key, and getting him down in the A-gap is ideal. And again, you're going to go ahead and pass commit here. And what you're going to see is I'm going to block my running back, and we're still going to get that A-gap pressure. As you saw right there, we did get nano detected, but we still got the pressure, okay? Uh, I have found that in practice mode, we're getting nano detected a ton, but in game, this normally will come in just fine, all right? So again, block the running back. You're going to see A-gap pressure potentially comes in. Doesn't end up coming in that time, and that's partially due to my user not holding the, holding the, uh, the running back long enough. So the way you want to hold the running back is ideally, in my opinion, you want to blitz your user, and then you're going to hold left trigger, and basically when you see the running backs blocked, you're going to kind of stand in here just for a second. You see we're getting that A-gap, and we're getting that edge pressure coming in just like that. This is a really aggressive blitz. Uh, it's really going to take advantage of the fact that your opponent is not going to have any kind of like uh, throwing chemistries or right, so they can't get the ball super fast, and you're going to just get this pressure. There's these straight-up A-gap with the running back blocked, as you can see. This is, in my opinion, the most aggressive way to play Madden, but it is a really good way. And it's actually, if you think about this, it mirrors that of things like nickel over of last year, but a little bit better. And we still have man-to-man -man across the board. Now, another little thing that you want, you might want to do is maybe bring that safety down a little bit, get a little better coverage. I really recommend blitzing your user with this play. Now, what if they block, like what if they do like some motion blocking? If they do some motion blocking like this, what you'll see is normally, actually, I don't think I blitzed my linebacker. Normally, what will happen is if you see any kind of motion blocking, you should get you still you should still get uh, the pressure. And I'll show it to you one more time here. But basically, if they block a running back or a tight end, if they block six and you're sitting six, you should be fine. Um, you should still get this pressure in. And I'll show it to you here. We'll block the tight end, this motion block. And you see we get the A gap off the left as well as the edge. So... Typically, what will happen is whichever side they're going to block, you're going to get a gap on the other side of that. And then obviously, when you're in a situation like this, by having, 
you know, the ability to be versatile, right? We can be very versatile with this coverage. So what we could do is we could drop into a coverage shell like this, and now they're blocking everybody to try to pick up this blitz, but they only got three routes on the field, and we already know how effective man coverage is. So now we've got a lot of support for our corner routes and things of that nature. So this is how you can really scheme around the whole entire thing and really take your defense to the next level by not only utilizing a blitz, but also utilizing something, some, some form uh, of some coverage. I really personally love doing something like this, and I can use this with a linebacker as like a middle third defender, so we could maybe run some you know, cover two Mabel, right? We could get into a Mabel concept out of this look, and we're still sending three. When I send three, I like to crash out, but you see here, now, all of a sudden, that corner route that was, you know, maybe open against man, now we drop zones over there, and it's not going to be open. So it's a way that you can really, I think, really combine two schemes into one. And again, it all starts, though, with the foundation that if they send five out, we are going to get pressure every single time up the A-gap, which is really good pressure in Madden to have. Then they're going to start to block somebody. And so when they start to block somebody, now we're going to be able to send six and we should still find that we're getting some form of either edge or a gap pressure with this look then what they're going to do is they're going to say okay i'm really tired of getting blitzed so i'm going to block everybody and this is where i think the best defenders in madden every single year will get into some type of coverage defense so that when they start to block people now you have a lot of support for the look the very few amount of routes that they're able to put on the field. This defense gives you a numbers advantage. It is why it is the best defense in Madden. And if you want to learn more about how to run this defense at an elite level, how to stop every meta offense you're going to see in Madden, how to stop the run, the quarterback rollout, how to take this blitz to a whole other level, join the Patreon today for just 10 bucks. You get access to everything in there for 10 bucks, all eBooks, all updates, everything for $10. As long as your membership is active, you can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.